hundred years ago, in a mountain village in Switzerland, lived a man whose strange experiments with the dead have since become a legend. A legend that is still told with horror the world over. We've only just started. Just opened the door. But now's the time to go through that door and find what lies beyond it. But don't you see, Paul? We've discovered the source of life itself, and we've used it to restore a creature that was dead. This is Frankenstein, who revolted against nature, who experimented with the devil and was forever cursed. His unwilling collaborator was Paul Kremp. I can't prove him, but I can stop you using his brain. Why? He has no further use for it. You do me a fucking thing! Careful! You're damned only two women ever entered this house of evil. Elizabeth, come back! Elizabeth, the lovely cousin who had promised to marry him, and Justine, the maid, who kept passionate and secret rendezvous with her master. Won't you understand you're in real danger? What Victor is doing is dangerous to everyone in the house. How could you ever possibly conceive what dreadful things he would do? What are you trying to tell me, Paul? That Victor's wicked? Insane? Wicked? Insane? Evil? Call Frankenstein what you will. A demon had made a man-made monster. And now, the monster was the master. Paul, what are you going to do? For your sake and to protect Elizabeth, I've so far kept silent. But now I shall go to the authorities and have them destroy that creature. And see that you pay for these atrocities. No! 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 Christopher Lake, Curse of Frankenstein. 